Hey everybody, John C. Denise Richards and the lovely Lulu. Lulu, what's Lulu wearing today? She is wearing her pajamas. She did not want to get up for work today. Ugh, she was Lulu. not having it, stuck in the covers, her little head peeks out. It's come on, time to go to work. Lulu, it's go time. So I let her keep her pajamas on. Didn't make her change her clothes today. You said, hey, we're doing some videos today with, with Uncle John. Let's That's get going. Oh, and you got to babysit a little bit today. I got to tote Lulu around and have a good time, go to some appointments while I babysat this morning for you guys. That was pretty cool. Thank so you. So fun. You're welcome. Welcome back to another All Things Home. I think we forget to say that sometimes, but this is All Things Home. It is All Things Home, and it's February 2nd when you're watching this. Happy February 2nd. There's a lot of cool things that happen on February 2nd. Tell somebody what one of those is. Well, I think the most... Uh, um, the one you would know the most is Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Are we going to have another, what, two weeks of winter? Are we going to have another two weeks of winter? We don't. We don't have any weeks of winter. <laughs> we have a day of winter in Florida every once in a while. That's about it. Maybe. Maybe about it. But Groundhog Day, National Groundhog Day, great movie, by the way. I haven't seen it for a while. Maybe I should Bill watch Murray, it again. Very, very good. Very Classic. good movie. Yeah. And let's see, Tater Tot Day. It's Tater Tot Day. It I is. I love that. Yeah. Um, I do like Tater Tots, but they need to be crispy. Very. And I like them with a little bit of uh, ketchup. Oh, Yeah. Good, good stuff. You with me on that? Yeah, I, I am. The, even the Orida, the old frozen ones, remember? Those were really good. Any other national holiday? Today? Yes, it's actually National Hedgehog Day. So cool. if it's National Groundhog Day yes. and it's National Hedgehog Day, yes. I wonder if those two guys had to go at it Ooh, to win battling. the title, right? But, so they decided to share. Well, so, oh, good point. They're kind to each other. Yeah. Do we even have hedgehogs in this area of South Florida? Uh, you can buy them in the pest stores can you yes little, people want hedgehogs they're very in their house. cute they are outside <laughs> okay all right so if you didn't see our video from last week denise and i spoke about roofs why are roofs important well because they cover your home <laughs> yes and they help you keep the rain out most of the time unless you have a hurricane it pulls off part of the roof or the shingles yeah. After the storm, though, we're all thinking roof, roof, roof. So it's real important that you go back and watch last week's episode if you have yeah. not seen it. Yeah, you may need to watch that. <clears throat> we talk a little bit about insurance on that and what to know and how to get a good roof if your roof got pulled off, all that fun stuff. So watch that video if you want to catch up on that. But today, for today's video, I saw this article and it caught my eye. And the article is called, Hope to Buy a Canadian Home? Question mark. You're going to have to wait two years. I want to know who wants to buy a, can a home in Canada. That's what I want to know. But that's beside the point. That's another episode. Another episode. <laughs> it sounds like Denise does not want to own property in Canada. I think there's people outside of the state of Florida that might have said that or thought that. But I think you're right. Not around here. So, uh, yeah, I don't necessarily want to buy a home in Canada necessarily. I know it is nice at certain parts of the year. And we have some Canadians watching this. We have to be kind of... For sure, but yeah. there's never going to be flip-flop weather. No. Never. Not flip-flop weather. Not happening. that I'm aware of. No, but what is interesting is what John's about to tell you about how to buy a Canadian home. Yeah, so you'll have to wait up to two years right now. They just passed the law January 1st. The Canadian government did on if you do not if you're not living there already as a Canadian citizen you're gonna have to wait until December 31st I think it said 2024 two years from what I've seen and I have some clients who bought down here in Astero with me last year I'm talking with them prices had really shot up like crazy so it was hard for people who live there full-time your workers you know whatever to purchase home price had flown up so much Sounded like they had a lot of investors coming in, purchasing homes up there. So the prices were kind of going crazy. They were going crazy everywhere, but really crazy. It's an there. interesting concept because we see foreign investors coming here and buying up land and buying up properties. Yeah. And it would be, I would love to know more information about it, to yeah. be honest. And, and I don't know that I would ever want our government, thank God for Ron DeSantis, uh, putting a stop on people being able to purchase homes in Florida. I'm more of the advocate of less government rule than more. For sure. Just me. Yeah. Um, but anyway, maybe that's why Florida is such a good freedom state. <laughs> One of many, many, many reasons. Let the market have yeah, many reasons. <laughs> oh, Ron. Um, but anyways, great article. We're going to post below the info on that if you want to dive more into why you cannot buy a Canadian home in the next uh, two years. Uh, you can take a look at that. Now, there are some stipulations on being able to purchase. I won't go into all of those right now, but I thought that was a pretty interesting article. For Canadians, if you are a Canadian, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. This is your home country. What do you think about your government passing this law where me as a United, uh, an American citizen, and Denise and Lulu, 
not being able to purchase a home in your country. Right. What do you think about that? Are you I, for I it against it? I would love to it? hear your opinion. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would love to know what people who actually live there think. Because mine doesn't matter. I'm I'm not Canadian. Because Canadians can come here and buy homes. And come I on. can finance them for you. And come John on. can find them. Come on. <laughs> so. We love Canadians. Come on. Keep we on. We sure do. Keep on keeping on. You help our economy roll, and we are grateful for that. Uh, so, yeah, there's some info for you. I want to talk with market news. Let's move to the next mm. segment of our video. Market news for here in Southwest Florida. So oh, yeah. Talking about different parts of the world, the country. Florida is unique to the country because there's a lot of seasons in a sense of people coming down here and staying for a period of time. Arizona's kind of like this and some of the other southern states, but we get a big influx of people coming down here. When do they normally come? When do they normally leave? Well, they usually come anytime after Christmas. Yeah. They usually leave almost on the dot of Easter. Easter. So depending on when Easter falls, our season can be long or it can be short, but they are here right now. They are here right now. A lot of traffic, which is fine. Um, It's not like Chicago traffic or New York City traffic, but a lot of traffic. But they're here, and it's nice to have seasonal folks here for this time of year. So if you've thought about selling a home, a lot of extra homes sell this time of year. January, February, March, April, and May are really our heaviest home sale months Mm -hmm. here in Southwest Florida. It's true, and and although we may have a lot of traffic, we also have a lot of industry traffic. So economy increases, everybody does well here in the season, and and we love our snowbirds. Yeah, and it's a beautiful time of year. I sat out last night and was reading because it was beautiful. Not many mosquitoes, not Mm -hmm. at all actually last night. Mm -hmm. Little breeze, cool, Mm -hmm. sunset, amazing. Mm -hmm. All right. It sounds like you agree. Uh, let's connect them <laughs> with Abby from Starfish Painting. Abby, Abby Lisse with yes, Starfish Painting. Yep. Yes. I should have updated her last name. It's not Lisse yeah. anymore. She just got married. Oh, that is true. She did. Sorry, Abby. Can't Pretty cool company, name. though. I mean, her dad works for her. Yes, And he comes Joe. to our network meetings, Joe. Joe's and they just, they do a bang-up job. They, they really do. They have gotten so busy yeah. um, doing quality work, though. They yeah. have gotten particular about their jobs. Um great company to align yourself with if you're looking needing any interior or exterior painting yeah and also i heard that they're hiring so if you mm. would like to paint or they need an office administrator to yeah. help you know get the jobs lined up and everything once they've come in if you're looking for a job great company to work for we got a lot of companies hiring here in southwest florida we if sure you, do if you don't live here and you want to work in southwest florida and enjoy the beauty come on down i guarantee you denise and i can find you a job we know a lot of people who are hiring here because our economy is doing pretty good pretty yeah it sure is all right if you haven't yet and you made it this far into the video thank you hit the uh like and subscribe button on the youtube channel we're doing great there thanks to all your help and thanks for watching these videos and hit a hashtag there for likes for lulu are we still doing the likes for lulu definitely likes for lulu hey thanks for watching guys have a great week we'll talk to you next week